taken three. So as you're not taken three, Liam Neeson gets thrown in for the murder of his ex-wife, so therefore he goes on the run from the LAPD to try and find the real killers. A bit of backstory, I love the first Taken film, it's not a smart film, but it's just a really enjoyable popcorn flick. I watched it last night, still really like it. Taken 2, meh, not as good, it just felt like a really big cash grab for me, so I wasn't big of a, too much of a fan of Taken 2. Taken 3 I didn't have too much hope for, I thought it was going to be better than Taken 2, so how is it? It has some good, but more bad. I'm just going to break this film down for you. Taken 3, the first half is really slow, I mean like there's hardly any guns being shot and it's just, it tries to use brain power, it tries to make you like use your brain but it's just like, I know exactly what's happening, you don't need to be like a really smart film, you're trying to be smart but you're just not being smart, if that makes any sense. It's just like, okay I come to Taken, I want to see guns get shot and I want to see guys get killed, I don't want to see any kind of brain power stuff, it all sounds really stupid saying that, that you want to go into a film with just mindless action thrown at you, but that's what Taken is, that's exactly what you want to see in these films, and for the first half you see very little of that. But the second half it does pick it up, there are some intense-ish action, action scenes, and the finale is pretty cool as well, and like guns are getting shot, bodies are getting dropped, chandeliers are falling off ceilings, I don't know why I said that last one, but I couldn't think of anything else that happened, but it was still pretty cool. The one thing that bogged this film down for me is that I predicted who the killer was even before the murder happened. I mean there was dialogue going on between two characters and I was like yeah he's gonna be the killer I know and at the end he was the killer. I hate it when films are that predictable for me I just I just don't like it because when you know that you're just watching the film unfold at that point you're just like okay come on film prove me right just prove me right. Thank you for proving me right, okay, time to go home. The acting in this movie was meh. Liam Neeson felt like he was funny in sometimes. I mean, he has that really gruffy voice of his, and it just doesn't sound realistic like, he wouldn't talk like that all the time. He even has that voice like when he's just talking to Kim, it's like, Hey Kim, how you doing? And I, I know I have a rubbish Liam Neeson impression, but whatever. You get the drift. Forrest Whitaker is in the film, he plays the inspector going after Liam Neeson, which is exactly what he plays in a lot of other films. He does the role well but in this film he doesn't really do it as well, he just sits around and eats bagels and yells orders. Yeah, he eats bagels, that's what he does. But the one thing that irritates me about this film and Taken 2 is that they have the potential to make these films better than Taken 1 but they just don't. They just make a very predictable and not as exciting PG-13 action film and it's just, you know they can make it better than Taken 1, they just won't, they're just going to do it in order to sell more tickets and get more money. Which I know is smart to do that, but it's just sacrificing a better product, which I just think, I just don't like that, I really don't. But the finale of this film was good, there was guns flying, people were dying, and I actually liked the finale of this film, it did bring it up a little bit. But the first half was really slow, Some there were some really boring parts as well, and also really predictable as well, you know. You see the guy, you're like, yeah, he's going to be the murderer, and boom, at the end he's the murderer. And it just, I hate predictable films like that, and this film just bogged it all down for me. And I just didn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to. I really wanted to like this film, I wanted to go out this, come out this film thinking, yeah, that was good, it really surprised me. Not as not as bad as everyone else says it is, but it, I do see why a lot of people do say it's bad. I don't, think it's, it, I don't think it's a terrible film, just not a particularly good film. So in the end, I'll give Taken 3 a 2.5. So what's your favourite Taken movie, what did you think of Taken 3, whatever your thoughts are, put them down there. If you like this video, you want to see more, click right here.